Hello, this is Ed Hammerly, owner of NJ Renewable Energy. Really cool project to show you today here in Princeton, New Jersey. This is a, forgive me for not knowing, I think it's about 11, ballpark of 11 KW sized DC array. They're Q-cell modules um, running this person's home. Uh, basically, this is gonna produce 100% of their power. It's, it's uh, basically net zero. But the most exciting part about this is what I'm gonna show you inside. Um, this has a battery backup system uh, made by Fortress Power. Um, you'll see right here, this is approximately an 18.5 kWh battery, rather large. Um, so this is not turned on at the moment. Uh, we're just finishing up. As a matter of fact, there's gonna be a revenue grade meter, meter right here. So this will, when the power comes from the roof, it'll show us how much power is being used there. You need that in order to collect your T-Rex, S-Rex. This is our solar arc um, inverter. Again, it's not on just yet, but I'll go through the whole process here. So the power will come in, go to the inverter, It'll, that's where it changes it from DC power to AC power. It also has the ability to dump that power inside the battery. So we'll have, we'll charge this battery all the way up. We'll run the house with AC power. Um, if and when the power goes out due to whatever, you name it, uh, electrical storm, hurricane, whatever, motor vehicle accident, somebody hits a pole, uh, the power goes out. We will basically disconnect from the grid. Uh, this device here controls, um, each of the breakers essentially. So what's happened is we spoke with the homeowner and we went through, now look, this has to be sized properly. You can't just do this any which way, uh, but we sit down and have a conversation and decide what the customer's needs are. Do they just want to run a sump pump? Do they want to run the whole house like it, nothing ever changed? You know, there's different, we can basically accommodate anything, but obviously the more power for longer periods of time, costs more money, right? We need bigger batteries. The good news is here, we have a solar system that when it gets dark or there's snow on the panels and it clears, it'll start to produce power again and recharge the batteries. So you can go indefinitely, again, assuming you're functioning within the parameters of how we've designed the system. So it's probably hard to see here, but this homeowner at this battery size and having the solar array here to uh, charge back, is able to do everything from all the lighting in the house to the microwave to the heater, right? So it'll run the blower and still they'll still have heat. This particular system is not capable of doing the air conditioning. We of course could if you were willing to put more batteries in or have more solar. But anyway, this is this is the way to do it. Um, this is a great system. This is becoming more popular um, as time is going on and the battery technology and the price is coming down. But if you want to be Net zero, but also be off the grid when needed. This is the way to do it. Fortress power.